Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we got Ezra Bridger number 86. Um, this one is absolutely outstanding. This is a favourite of mine. Um, this may be the best one in the wave for my liking. Um, the whole wave is incredible, but this, I don't know, there's something about this figure that just comes across really well. Um, I'm being a big Rebels fan, I'm very excited to start real fleshing out these uh, characters in the 6-inch Black Series line. Um, we're only we're only zeb away from having the main crew, um, but I'd like to see some more characters like uh, Agent Callus and the Grand Inquisitor, um, among among some others, and maybe an older Rex would be sweet too. But uh, like I said, number eighty six says on the back: Growing up, Ezra learned to trust no one and to rely on his street smarts and subconscious force abilities to survive. This all changes with his introduction to the crew of the Ghost, a small band of rebels fighting back against the Empire. Ezra comes to believe in their cause and sees that he can help change the galaxy for the better. And uh, we've got a pretty solid looking action figure of this of this guy here. Um, I actually feel like the, the cartoon to sort of semi real life look is as uh, translated really, really nicely. Um, we've seen it on a few figures now. Um, from the Rebels, obviously, we've got Chopper, which I have just reviewed. Um, Hera, Kanan, they look pretty good. Sabine as well. They both translated really well. And uh, I think they've done a pretty good job with Ezra. Um, I mentioned it in my review with of Kanan as well. Um, it would be particularly difficult to find, find a, a real-life likeness for a character that's been animated first. Um, it'd be easy to do it the other way around. But uh, I'm, I'm liking Ezra. He looks good. So accessory-wise, he comes with his helmet here. So that's his uh, cadet helmet, Imperial cadet helmet. This looks pretty sweet. And that fits really nicely on his head. That's a very nice clean fit. See his hair sort of sticking out of the bottom. Looks great. I, I just really like this look. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it's cool. It is really, really cool. So um, pop that off and put it aside. He also comes with his lightsaber. Of course, his, his first lightsaber, which is the uh, sort of half blaster, half stun blaster, half half lightsaber which is pretty nice that it's got a little hook on it which does hook onto the uh, piece on his belt there so it looks good of course it does come with the uh, blue blade so it looks pretty good let's get a look at Ezra himself In some lights he does still look quite animated, but in others it's definitely a great representation of, of what he looks like. Oh, he's still got a sort of purplish tinge to his hair, which looks great. I'm not opposed to that at all. I did expect it just to be sort of black and that was the animation style. They might do black with some uh, purple flashes and highlights and stuff, but... They've gone with a pretty solid purple here. I can't tell whether there's uh, any sort of dark washing over the top, but it's sculpted pretty nicely, especially throughout the back here. Looks great. Um, really nice bright orange suit, um, his outfit. And I like his little vest. Um, I did actually glue the vest down just along the shoulder and down the collarbone there. Um, it was it was loose. Um, and... It, it just it bugged me a little bit, um, so I did super glue that down, and it hasn't hindered any movement at all. Um, it just looks a bit cleaner. It looks part of the mold, um, as well as being like, you know, you can still sort of flex that under there. Still allows for good movement. So um, yeah, definitely recommend tidying that up a little bit. It just gets rid of that loose look. This little logo on the back. 
good. I like that this may have been a bigger jacket and he sort of cut it off. At the sleeves. And then he sort of belt and pouch. It's a little, sort of a loose fit accessory I suppose. There's a little com link on the side. And he's got his slingshot on the wrist there. And further down. Looks good. I like his green gloves. And he's just picked up bits of uh, bits of used clothing and stuff to uh, get what he needs and. Uh, just to get by as being a bit of a abandoned one uh, well, that's not it's not the word but you know what I mean he's a bit of a no I've lost the word forget it it's not the word I was looking for but I'll get him holding this lightsaber fortunately can't get him to hold it with two hands there's probably a way you can make it look like that but that's okay but really great movement again like I was mentioned with the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi they've really nailed the sort of elbow movement so Ezra's one cool figure I'm really into this figure I'm not sure what it is but it's great he just looks awesome all right Ezra has a ball jointed head um, looks like he's got a little bit of neck movement as well uh, ball in shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, the upper torso joint, the uh, ball hinged thighs, um, hips, swivel cut thighs, double joints in the knees, and the ball hinged in the ankles. So, pretty superb looking figure, in my opinion. Really, really happy with this one. So definitely interested to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we've got Dr. Afro number 87. So stay tuned for that one. It's another great figure. Let me know what you thought of this one. And until then, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.